Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents, and welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us, where I am Liz Quinn, your certified Scentsy consultant. So today I have for you my June Melting Basket, which is inspired by all things happy with the sun and the ability to go out to the lake or the ocean. And it will be similar to the comparison video that I will do later in the month, which you guys voted for, like sea and sand, because these are just what I want to melt this month. So this one has a little bit more tropical added though. So let's get into it. And this is one of my favorite summertime mugs, Seas of the Day, it's so cute. So first off in this wonderful summer, themed basket, I have the beautiful Atlantic Air, which is one of my favorite scents. It has really grown on me over the years, especially for relaxing in the summertime. It's just slightly salty, fresh, has a waft of orchid, and it is gentle and elegant. Another one, which I always save for like the middle of June. This is one of those scents that I just think of June, and that is summer holiday. I love this smell. It is my very favorite spring and summer classic scent that Scentsy continues to reproduce. So this has amber, it's got tiger lily, it's got vanilla. It is the most interesting mixture and it absolutely just smells like a beautiful summer day. So, so good and good and strong too. So another one if we were going to be going for uh, summer gooeyness and treats and wonderfulness is vanilla waves, which isn't my personal favorite, but it is appropriate this time of the year and I need to melt it sometime, right? And it's really good with Bonfire Beach, which I think I put in this melting basket too. Mm, so this is just like, it's almost like a waffle cone that has some caramel and vanilla ice cream and a touch of sea salt just dripping down the side. So it is growing on me. It's one that I don't talk about a lot because I put it in and think, why did I think I wanted to melt that today? But with uh, Bonfire Beach, it's really Another one, which is retired, but I love this bar, is Tropic Tango. This is like your best creamy smoothie for summertime with the mango and the orange and the coconut milk. You could throw in vanilla ice cream for the real thing, but you should melt this on the side. Oh, it's so good. So it's got all the juiciness from all of the different fruits and that little bit of creaminess on the back with the coconut. Right, another one, now this is is like my summer special scent. We had it in the flash sale and I didn't want to be greedy. I should have bought a couple more than I did. I got four of pineapple sorbet. This bar is so, so good. And other consultants who have gotten a hold of it have said the same thing. Scentsy, we want this back in the catalog. It's just sweet, juicy pineapple, but when you melt it, I promise you there is coconut somewhere they just don't tell you there is a layer of coconut i honestly feel like this smells as much like a pina colada as pina colada cha cha just heavier on the pineapple and it's more assertive in the room love this bar cannot wait to start melting this all right another one that is very good for the summertime is shoreline drive this is just really fresh sort of coastal beachy with a little bit of like, I think there's sea glass, and not that you can smell sea glass, but I think that either I think of that or it's in the description. There is definitely passion flower, some salty sea mist, and it is nice and strong and a very good fresh summer scent. This would be great with your windows open. Oh, this is my last cube. This will definitely also go into my comparison video. This used to be blue. This is my beloved sea sun and fun best suntan lotion scent since he's ever made. Mm, it's so good. We've got to get this back, people. It is bright. It has, there must be some orange blossom or something in here, like a really strong floral that goes into suntan lotion. And all of that, like that wonderful, almost like it's a hot day in here at the beach. It's all in this bar. It is so good and nice and strong. I really miss it. Okay, on the other end of the spectrum is the sweet and creamy summer soleil, which is like pineapple, marshmallow clouds, and vanilla. Super light, super temperamental, only melt this in my bedroom, absolutely love it. Definitely appropriate for a beautiful uh, summer sunshine, the sea and sand kind of a feel. All right, one of the most amazing bars that they've done in the last couple years for a summer month a special edition palm trees and ocean breeze, which is now in the catalog. This is so nice. 
So this seems like it'll be subtle, but when you get it in the warmer, it's at least a medium for me. And it definitely feels very like you're by the beach or you're by the coast. Maybe you have like a little pineapple drink in your hand because it's got the palm leaf and it's got the pineapple and it's got the freshness, but it's warm and tropical freshness. Beautiful. Makes me think of, of turquoise waters. I have gone on a couple cruises. Not my favorite thing to do, but the water and the sights are amazing. Mm. This is Bonfire Beach. Amazing on its own, but also amazing with vanilla waves. This has marshmallow. It has flint. It has seaside. Flint meaning like a rock note almost. A little bit of smoky smolderiness. Not a lot. Oh, so good. Oh, and a little bit of almost like a salty sea air. All that squeezed into one bar, totally amazing. Definitely a summer classic. That one, as far as like classic scents that I would think of for summer, I don't have as much emotional attachment as Summer Holiday, but that is another scentsy classic summer scent. Right, beautiful Rio Beach, which this is my last bar. I've got like two cubes kicking around in another clam. And this is like warm and summery. You think of the color bronze when you smell this. It is just gorgeous. So it's like the best suntan oil with tonka bean and richness, and it is so good. And then we have, for a little bit farther north, some sand swept. Now this is a very tailored, classy scent. We vacation often up in Petoskey, and this kind of reminds me of the way that the weather feels up there when you're walking along the beach. There aren't any lemon groves. This is supposed to have pink lemon groves and sandstone and like fresh air and beachiness. But this doesn't necessarily make me think hot tropical ocean. It makes me think almost more like temperate waters. And it is beautiful. Temperate meaning like temperate zones where it's going to have the change of seasons. And I'm getting in my head. But anyway, it's a really good bar. <laughs> so... Um, it is just so enjoyable. Next, I have the best drink of summer, and I was trying to come up with a, like a scent memory to put with this. I don't have a scent memory exactly, but I have a memory of drinking a non-alcoholic pina colada, which I know is not the same, but I just don't drink, on the back deck of a cruise ship with my family a few years ago watching the sunset. And even though that wasn't my favorite activity as far as cruising, I don't like being stuck in my cabin and told what to do when, but I loved having this in my hand, sipping the creaminess of the pina colada and watching the sunset over the ocean, which I have traveled very little, so that was a thrill. So pina colada cha-cha definitely reminds me of that. And then we have the beautiful Havana Cabana, which is such a happy scent. And this one just makes me think of poolside. It's got banana, it's got, I think, oranges and other berries, and it's sort of creamy. Oh, there's pineapple in here sort of creamy, but it's very bright and light and a little bit sassy. Actually, it reminds me of a lady that I used to spend a lot of time with a few years ago. She has this huge pool deck on the back of her house, and it might be her sunscreen reminds me of that. All right, another one that's just beautiful is Daydream Oasis, and this is like, what is it, pear leaf and water lotus. It's just a happy green scent, and it's relaxing. Just really nice for like a quiet, afternoon sitting in the backyard if you're lucky enough to have a fountain or a little koi pond or something which I don't but I would just imagine that this would be a great bar for that. Coconuts for coconuts because this is like the quintessential sunscreen scent that we have at the moment. This one's available. Really nice with the tiare flower and the coconut water and a little bit of like sunscreen beachiness. Beautiful. All right now this one Either you would be going to Hawaii or you'd have a really nice creamy fruit smoothie drink, more heavy on the papaya and the mango this time with some yogurt, and that would be Kahiko Hula. And I think it was Patricia Gates that first really explained what she thought about this scent and it stuck in my memory about like the, the yogurt. I think that was her. Oh, but it's so good. It's like creamy and tropical and fruity, but kind of mellow at the same time. We had this, I think last summer for Bring Back My Bar, it's delightful, and it's a little stronger than you think it'll be in the clam. Really beautiful smell. All right, then you cannot have summertime without some gorgeous white sands. And this is just the most relaxing scent. 
jasmine and rice milk and elegance and softness. There is a big white hotel in Petoskey, and I just imagine that either the Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island, which I have never stayed at, maybe someday I will, but I have toured it. Oh gosh, this this bar, yes, I think the Grand Hotel, this should be the bar of the Grand Hotel. If you have ever been, it was in Somewhere in Time, it was famous for that, I've never actually watched the movie, but when you ride up in a carriage to the Grand Hotel, you think White Sands. Or at least I would have if I had had the bar back when I went. We're going this summer. Not to stay on the island is too expensive, but it's so cute up there. Everything's horse-drawn. There are no motor vehicles. Um, Maui Mist. Now, again, I don't travel much, so I've never been to Maui, but this is like the weirdest combination of incense stick and flowers and vanilla. And I have to be in the mood, but it's really good. And um, I don't know if it smells like being on Maui or not. And then last but not least, because this is like the classic scent of all things fresh by the sea, which is really good, really, really good. And I think that people could identify with this scent from coast to coast here in America and elsewhere because this is just <laughs> slippery little fish. Dewy seagrass. <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> it's really oily. <laughs> Dewy seagrass and seaside air. And um, that's all I have for you today. <clears throat> so I hope you've enjoyed my melting basket. We're gonna get a few of these bars again with our comparison video later in the month. Melt your summer goodies because June and July and August go by so fast and all of a sudden it's time for pumpkin. Have a great day guys. Bye-bye.